Uh, my name's Sam. Uh, I sing for Get Dead. Um, we, we, before, we originally formated the band. It was a bunch of Bay Area bands that were different, but we all played together. Like, you know, my band would play with Mikey's band, and Mikey's band would play with Timmy's band. It just so happened that, like, everyone's band kind of started dissolving at the same time. So we all got together one night, and we fucking <laughs> bought a bunch of uh, fucking pineapples and hollowed them out. We poured gin in them and pineapple juice. We sat there and got wasted. Like, Mikey's apartment was just a sticky mess. And that was supposed to be our first band practice. And then somebody, I think, during that time, like, spiked a pineapple and was like, get dead, fucking bow. And so since then, we've been jamming together, and that's, like, seven years ago. So, yeah. I mean, to tell you the truth, before, before I was in a punk rock band, I used to be a, a rapper. I did a lot of hip-hop. I did my own beats and shit. And, um, I mean, as far as that, like, I mean, I grew up on, like, you know, Gangstar fucking, you know, a Tribe Called Quest, like in Ghetto Boys and shit. But I mean, I've always been a skateboarder, so obviously, like, in, like Pennywise, you know, Circle Jerks, all the old staples. I mean, we all, we get this question a lot, like, what's our influence? And basically, all of us have grown up with the same, I don't know, like, creative shit. It's just basically fucking, if it's good music, it's good music. Like, I'll fucking bump Justin Chim Timberlake yeah. if it's a dope track. You know, he's got whack tracks, but I mean, if it's good, I'll listen to it. You know? Well, I mean, a, a lot of them because, like I was telling you earlier, we, we've only done the West Coast. We've only done Seattle to fucking like San Diego, maybe Las Vegas for punk rock bowling. But other than that, we've only gone to Europe twice. So um, it's rad to come out here on the East Coast because we get hit up by a lot of people out here saying, when are you guys coming? When are you guys coming? And you know, before we were on fat and we had support, I mean, it's hard to get eight fucking dudes across the country with fucking no money, no backing, no promote, you know. So um, I'm really excited about the Boston market just because we have a lot of friends and bands out there and a lot of people are coming out to the show day after tomorrow. So we were really excited about tonight. New York didn't let down. Philly was fucking awesome. They've all been awesome, man. Yeah, you know, he's, he's a fucking, uh, the guy's a fucking dick. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, he's he's a fucking Greg, Greg guy. I mean, he has good creative input. We also worked with Josh Garcia, who did the sound engineering. Both of them work really well together, and you know, it's nothing but support. He's not like one of them dudes that are like, no, 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 change this, do that. Like any of the input that he put in there, it probably needed to be put in there. You know, he's not like overbearing. Rad dude to work with. Rad dude to work for. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and talk shit on my boss. <laughs> I, I, I mean, we th this store we bought boxing gloves because we were in we, we were in Europe and you know when we toured out there just like, you get eight dudes in a van every night people aren't eating right everyone's drinking all day people get gripes and that so now instead of arguing like little girls we just pull the fucking van over put the gloves on like how much do you want to hold this grudge right now we'll, we'll throw things uh, but um what's, the record right now? What's, that, what's that what's your record right oh we don't we, we can't talk about the records that's 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 our role it's 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 internal we'll shit you know? right? yeah we keep it on the low <laughs> we're all we're all tough guys uh but yeah no well i mean the highs i would say one of the best highs was last night we had the night off in new york and it was the first time as a band that we looked at our like you know tune core sales and we had enough money to be like, you know what, let's not eat at the fucking Waffle House today. We went out to fucking sushi in St. Mark's, fucking got like 15 pictures, went out all night getting wasted. So it, that, that was definitely a high, you know. I think a, a low would be the drive from fucking Mesa, Arizona to San Antonio. It was a 19 hour drive. We got off stage, we fucking piled in, then we drove all the way 19 hours, had to pile out and play five minutes later. So. That's pretty shitty. We plan to end up the year, uh, fuck, I don't know. I think we're gonna do a tour with um, a Shell Corporation, a little West Coast tour, and then um, I think we're gonna talk to Fat about maybe uh, recording some new songs, put out a seven inch, you know, try to get out in time. And I don't know, after this, we'll probably fucking relax, you know. Uh, Timmy just had his first kid. Um, I'm a house painter back home. I want to get back and like get three square meals a day and sit in a bathtub and shit. So, but now uh, I yeah, we can do Shell Corporation, maybe another mini West Coast tour just with our friends' bands and stuff. But who knows? I, I got to go to court on December 14th. I might I might ring in the New Year in jail. 
for some graffiti beef, but that I didn't do. Um, but after that, 2014, we're gonna be, I think we're going out to Europe in uh, April. We're gonna, uh, you know, be doing uh, the festival circuit out there with uh, City Rap Booking. Hopefully play with some bands out there and probably go out there for about six, seven weeks. Just push the record and then come back from that and I think we're gonna start working on our next full length. I, I didn't I didn't like these guys' names when I saw them because everyone was wearing the shirts and it was D's Nuts. And I was like, what is this whack ass D's Nuts shit? And then I heard them and, and you know, we seen them and it's, they're fucking phenomenal. Australian band, it's kind of like hardcore hip hop influence or whatever. They're rad. Uh, we're, we're really looking forward to hopefully getting a tour with them um, Off With Their Heads soon. I think the Off With Their Heads home album is one of the best records of the year. Uh, uh, it's Rebels Bay, our friends in Italy, they're always great to see. Hey Dave, we're playing with your jump. What's a, what's a good Europe band that we're looking forward to playing with? Uh, we play with Idol Class. Idol, Idol Class? Yeah. yeah. Uh, What's that? From Canada? Yeah, uh, my my chick will kill me if I say that. Uh, no, nah, my I got a, I got a band I got a band crush on the girl from Creep Show. Oh, my girl's but got a band crush on. I know. I'm I love you, babe. You know, I'm talking to Kim. I got a girlfriend. Edit that out. But yeah. All right. Cool. Don't edit that shit out.